sure that most of you read. Reading music is exactly the same. You're doing the same thing. Unfortunately, you're also trying to do something else. I play the piano. So it makes it seem a little bit more cumbersome. But what you want to be doing is practicing reading. It's not a time to be proud and play pieces that you think are challenging. Because then you will not be reading, you'll be decoding. I, I, it, 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 it was, what, was, it was the war, worst, wor, worst, it was the worst of Timus, Timus, Times. It was the worst of times. This is not reading. This is decoding. You, if you're doing that when you're at the piano and wanting to be reading, you're not practicing reading. You're working on your decoding. What this means then is that the music that you are trying to read is too difficult for you. You have to decode it. When you read, your eye is way ahead of yourself. I could actually cover up the next line of words if you were reading, and you would read them out loud just fine, You would because you had already grasped them. So that's what you want to be doing when you're um, practicing sight reading. I believe that it's part of the muscle of the brain and it needs exercise. Wishing is never going to uh, make it so. It's something you have to do, like going to the gym. You have to spend time every day work, reading, actually reading. Now if we say that decoding isn't reading, then you're playing something that is too hard for you. This is where you have to drop all pride. Get out those basic music books. Get out the your beginning piano books. Read through them. You'll be reading and you'll be grasping hunks of notes rather than one note at a time, one letter at a time. One helpful thing, once, once you've got the, the piece of music up, this is actually a copy of my first piano book. This, this is pretty easy, but it might be too hard for you. No problem. We don't care. We're not, there's no contest here. You've got to find your level. If it obviously is way too easy and you're zipping through, then start edging up till you get to the level where it is challenging, but you keep going. That's another very important thing, is you can't stop. You can't stop and correct, and then go back and glue those together, and that you're learning to play the piece. We don't care whether you learn to, learn to play the piece or not. You're, not. you're not trying to learn the piece. You're trying to exercise the part of your brain, the reading part of your brain. You know, you can read and not understand a word you're saying, for that, reading for that matter. All right, so you've got the page up there. You're looking at the piece. Give yourself all the help you can before you ever start. Take a good look at it. Know what you're going to be counting. What is the key signature? And what I always like to do is look at it and say, what is the easiest thing here? Well, the fact that the left hand has rest for two bars, I'd call that easy. Find out the things that you're going to, well, that's the same note played four times, okay? You've looked at all of that and given yourself um, a foundation before you start. And then you just do it. I've been uh, wishing I could find a, a person to build a little apparatus for me, which would be... It would be something that slips along this, the page as you're playing and covers up 
If you were starting to play here, the minute you played the first note, this thing would slide over. That forces your eye to look at the next part. This is essential. You don't want to be looking at what you're playing. If I'm playing this major, there's no reason to look at that. I should be looking over here. So it's a matter of exercising the eye and it feels dangerous. <laughs> it's very disconcerting. You want to be looking at what you're playing. No, the eye should constantly be jogging over to the right. Just tear your eye away from that measure and look at the next measure or the next measure after that even if, if it all seems to make a lot of sense to you because that's what your eye is doing when you're reading words. You're not glued to the words you're reading. You figured that out long ago. It happens to be um, what you're playing at that moment. But you've got to be ahead of what you're playing. You've got to be way ahead of your hands. So, this, it's hard to do this by yourself. I'm very lucky because I'm, I'm a good reader, but I really believe the reason I am is because when I went to junior high school in the seventh grade, I could already play quite well, but that has nothing to do with the reading. So because I could play well, I was uh, uh, selected to be the accompanist for the choir. So we met every day and the choir sang and I was the accompanist. They weren't going to stop for me, right? So I had to keep going and that is really essential that you keep going, get an idea in your mind of what you think the, the beat is and if you if you miss out on something, you'll get it next time. Don't try to correct it. Keep going. So if I'm going um, uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and I get one, two, one, I gotta still know where where I should be if I had if I had made it where I would be and try to try to catch it over there. You don't want to stay fixing, trying to get it right. If you have to do that, then what you're trying to read is too difficult. This is and this is okay. It's it's a matter of admitting that and then going uh, to a level that is possible without losing a beat without having to stop. You can't stop. If you have to do that, that means you're not reading, you're decoding, then drop down a level. This doesn't mean necessarily that you're going to have to play dumb things. Uh, you know, Bella Bartok wrote the microcosmos. It starts with very, very simple. You could get book one of that. You'd be playing Bartok, <laughs> but you'd be reading. Reading music can give so much pleasure to be able to sit down with a book of music and read through pieces. Maybe they're easy pieces, but there are some beautiful, beautiful easy pieces. Most major composers wrote easy pieces for their kids or some collection. There's something about reading music. I used to spend whole evenings exploring reading music. It's worth putting some time into it every day. Start on the easy level. You will get better. You'll develop a skill at it and then you can just enrich your musical lives.